Hello and welcome to Tech Dive. We're going to be doing another Movie Studio 14 Platinum tutorial today. You may have noticed I released a review of Vegas Pro and I'm going to be doing tutorials on Vegas Pro as well, but don't worry, I'm still going to be doing Movie Studio tutorials alongside the Pro tutorials and I'm excited to be offering both. So keep an eye out for whichever software it is you're editing with and it'll have specific information for that version however the pro version which is if you don't know Vegas Pro is just a pro version of Movie Studio uh, is very very similar so there might not be a lot of differences in the tutorials but I know it's a lot more comfortable to watch a tutorial with the exact layout and buttons that you're expecting to see on your software so that being said without further ado let's talk about how to record audio in Vegas now audio directly into your video editor is exciting and awesome and totally needed for a lot of projects especially ones that may have voiceover and you may try and use other softwares like Audacity and things like that but this way you can record exactly what you want exactly where you want it and just start editing it right there so the first thing you're gonna do is you notice you've got these audio tracks well cuz cuz these are the video tracks up here these are the audio tracks and this first one's usually generically always named audio the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actuate it for recording so it actually calls it arm for recording and once we hit this button it now recognizes that you want to prepare this track to record on and you're gonna notice the mic I'm talking in is there's the ground floor when I stop talking it's right it's right here at 42 that's what's called your ground floor and that's just a room noise I got my computer fan and stuff going so room noise is always a little high for the tutorials but uh, it's what I got it's what I gotta work with here and uh, you can see me talking and you can see the output meter so the output meter is really what the projects is going to uh, be outputting uh, when it so what you can do is you can monitor what your other tracks music is also outputting and this will give you kind of more of the overall project sound while this gives you what your mic is currently doing and both of these together can help you understand uh, how your how your project is gonna mix so see the cursor here you can select wherever you want it to start and then there's a button at the bottom left hand corner of your timeline called record you can also hit control R and do it on from your keyboard but when you select this button the first time you do it, it'll pop up a dialog box that asks you where you want to save these files, usually in the project folder that you're working on, and then it'll explain what second or frame it's writing to as it goes, but it's just going to be recording everything I'm saying right now, and it'll do it as long as I want it to. And when you're done, then you can just hit Control r or the record button here in the corner, and it's asking me, hey, is this okay? Do you want to rename it something in particular, like tutorial or like whatever you're working on, sound effect? And uh, do you want to delete it? So that way, if you do a bunch of bad takes, you can just delete them instead of clogging up your hard drive with bad takes. And uh, if you've done multiple takes, you can delete all or whatever. But uh, I've done one take, and I'm going to hit done. So now it's saved. And now I just have an audio file here. It's called Audio Wave 1. When you select this button, the first time you do it, it'll pop up a dialog box that asks you where you want to save these files. You See? There we go. I've got the recording right here directly on my Movie Studio timeline. Alright, now we got a recording here on the timeline. To get the track back to normal, you just hit arm for recording. you got your volume, you can pan to your left or right speaker, and you can always right click the track to add an audio effect or add an audio effect on the whole track by clicking this button. So we can talk plenty more about those in upcoming tutorials. There's a few tutorials where I've touched base on how to add an audio effect, I uh, believe, and we're going to have plenty more coming. Like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more tutorials like this one. Comment with a tutorial idea if you got one, and I'll see what I can do for you. And check out our other Tech Dive videos if you're interested in anything in the computer enthusiast world, like graphics cards or or computer building, stuff like that, we got you covered. Thanks for watching. See you next time.